You maybe heard about an event called Dino and Dragon Stroll coming to Central Bank Center in downtown Lexington this weekend. It's an animatronic show and it's a big hit with people of all ages. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of interested. You want to yeah. go? Yeah, but before the dinosaurs head downtown, they made a visit to Shriners Hospital for Children. Our Angie Bevan was there as the kids got to experience a little dino therapy <laughs> in this positively LEX 18. Shriners Hospital for Children gets its fair share of visitors, but none quite like this. A velociraptor named Blue. And a baby dino coming face to face with kids in the hospital like Grayson Shepard. Okay, and Grayson, how old are you? Six. The chance to watch. Oh my goodness. Pet. You have to do this. Interact and listen. This one eats meat. It's great because he's obsessed with dinosaurs. He's been obsessed with dinosaurs since he was three. But we've actually been coming here for a couple years where he has torticollis in his neck. Um, we've done therapy and all that, but today we had to get Botox in his neck to help loosen up the muscles. It wasn't just the kids enjoying this Mesozoic era meet and greet. All right, we gotta get in a little more. Group pictures, selfies. I wanna hug, you wanna hug him? Oh. Nothing but smiles and laughter. Exactly what this dino therapy is intended to produce. <laughs> It's the dynamite smiles that we're out for. You've been walking along with us. You see it's not only the children, it's the nurses, it's the doctors. Matt Flynn is a producer with Dino and Dragon Stroll. When they take this lifelike animatronic dinosaur and dragon exposition across the country, they set out to also give back like they did at Shriners today. See his little sharp teeth. Hopefully offering a little extra healing for kids of all ages. In Lexington, Angie Bevan, LEX 18 News. The Dino and Dragon Stroll event at Central Bank Center is both Saturday and Sunday, and tickets are still available. They're also helping collect food donations for a food bank that was destroyed in western Kentucky last weekend. And if you have a positive story in your community, send us an email, positivelyelex18 at wlex.tv.